This is the Domino's Pizza NFL Live Halftime Report. Brought to you by Domino's. Nobody knows like Domino's how you like pizza at home. Metrodome. Let's check some highlights from that game. The Vikes come in at 7-2. and two. The Oilers, losers of three of the last four, are 5-4. and four. And Houston had some early mistakes. On the opening drive, Warren Moon's pass dropped by Haywood Jeffries, and the Oilers are forced to punt. Still in the first quarter, they drive into Viking territory. Moon completes it to Ernest Givens at the 20, but Givens fumbles. The ball knocked loose by Carl Lee, and Jack Del Rio recovers from Minnesota. Houston's special teams having problems. Harry Newsom's punt for the Vikings. Mishandled by Euler return man Webster Slaughter at his own 10. The ball bounces out of the end zone, perhaps helped out of the end zone. Ruled a touchback, though, no safety. On the subsequent drive, the Oilers get all the way down to the Vikings' 11-yard line, but on third and six, Lorenzo White stopped for a two-yard loss. The Oilers have to settle for the field goal. Moon obviously frustrated the Vikings with the lead in this one. Anthony Parker with a 58-yard fumble return of a Moon cough-up. That's the only touchdown in the game. Fouad Reves has a field goal, as does Al Del Greco in this one, and 10-3 in favor of the Vikings. Kansas City at 5-4, and four, jumping on the 6-3 and three Redskins at Arrowhead, 20 21 to nothing. Craig, a 44-yarder to Tim Barnett. Christian Okoya, two touchdown runs. The Redskins continue to sputter on offense, and they trail. Green Bay has the lead at home, actually at County Stadium in Milwaukee, a home game for them. 14-3 over the Eagles. Let's check the numbers for Randall Cunningham, returning to the starting lineup after not starting a week ago. 9 of 17, 59 yards, no pickoffs or TDs, but he hasn't produced a touchdown either, just a Roger Ruzek field goal. They're down by 11 at the half in Milwaukee. Pittsburgh at 6-3, and three, leading the 2-7 and seven Lions 10-7. This one almost a halftime at Three Rivers. San Diego is at Cleveland, 7-0 lead amid some snowflakes there over the Browns. The game you folks are watching, the Jets at 2-7, and seven, leading the 4-5 and five Bengals 10-0 at the half. Brad backs to the one-yard touchdown run and Carrie Blanchard the 42-yard field goal. Atlanta is 3-6, and six, so is Phoenix, though the Cardinals have won two in a row, almost halftime. Falcons lead at the Georgia Dome, 10-7. And New England and Indianapolis are tied at 14, almost a halftime. Colts 4 and 5. Pats looking for their first win of the season. Some highlights from that one. This is Scott Zolak, the kid from Monongahela, Pennsylvania, Joe Montana's hometown, starting at quarterback today for the Patriots. Early on, it's Clarence Verdan, though, with the 53-yard punt return off the Sean McCarthy kick for the TD that gives the Colts the 7-0 lead. Patriot defense, though, even the score. Jeff George's pass picked off by David Poole. He brings it back 41 yards for the score, and it's 7-7. Patriots rookie fumble Kev Kevin Turner will cough it up, their rookie fullback, and it's recovered. And now we look for Zolak with the touchdown pass to Ben Coates from two yards out. And although obviously I am a deeply confused man in some respects, it is a fact that the score of this game is 14-14 <laughs> late in the second quarter, and thankfully a fact that this is the last of the scores. And it was just pleasant to look at the plays. They have a certain appeal on their own, regardless of whether the facts are correct. How about the play where uh, Dishman appeared to knock the ball out of the back of the end zone for well, Houston? Well, there, there are two things. First of all, I don't think Slaughter should have tried to catch the punt. He was inside the 10. He should, right. That's a rule. You never catch it inside the 10. Second, it's a muff. And once it went across the goal line, right, I think the, the officials rule this is a muff. It's not a fumble. It went into the end zone. It's an automatic touchback ball out at the 20. Alan, what do you think? And